Hi friends, in this video, we are going to discuss about parallel operation of synchronous machines. Generally, why we are preferring parallel operation? What are the advantages of parallel operation? Due to parallel operation, continuity is the first one continuity and next one efficiency increases and next one reliability reliability continuity and efficiency increases and generally load capacity increases load capacity increases like this many advantages are there due to parallel operation of synchronous machines. Right. Now, what are the conditions for parallel operation of synchronous machines? Conditions. What are the conditions we have to maintain for parallel operation? In that, the first one, phase sequence should be same. Phase Sequence should be same, nothing but, for example, if one phase sequence is RYB, then the next phase sequence also RYB, then only we can make it in parallel. Or the next phase sequence is maybe YBR, or the next phase sequence may be B. R, Y, these three are the possibilities of same phase sequence. Sir, how the three? Simple, R, Y, B, R, Y, B is the positive phase sequence as well as Y, B, R, Y, B, R also positive phase sequence. Similar, B, R, Y, B, R, Y also positive sequence. But, but R, B, Y is a negative phase sequence and B, Y, R is a negative phase sequence and Y, R, B is a negative phase sequence. These three are the negative phase sequences and these three are the positive phase sequences. Whatever the phase sequence should be same. And next one, and next one, terminal voltage should be same. We have to maintain same terminal voltage. Otherwise, short circuits may take place. Circulating currents increases. And next one, the frequency must and should be same. Nothing but the speed should be same. Frequency nothing but speed. So, we have to maintain these three factors always same for parallel operation otherwise it leads to damage right now we have one word what is synchronization synchronization what is the definition of this word they will ask you tell me synchronization nothing but the connection of the connection of two alternators in parallel, two alternators in parallel are the connection of any two alternators in parallel are any synchronous machine with the bus bar. What is that? Any synchronous machine, a synchronous motor, a synchronous generator with bus bar. This process is called synchronization by following, by following above three conditions. This is the synchronization. Nothing but this, this is a connection in parallel of two alternators or one alternator with bus bar or one synchronous motor with bus bar by following above three conditions is called synchronization. This is simply the 
conditions for parallel operation and what is synchronization and here the synchronization methods can you tell me what are the synchronization methods for our synchronous machine let's see the synchronization methods what are they and how we can make it in synchronization let's see synchronization methods of synchronous machine synchronization methods let's discuss now here two types of synchronization methods are there one is the synchronoscope method and other one is the lamp method one is the synchronoscope in that we have a synchronoscope based on that we can make it in parallel and another one by using lamp method this lamp method is used for for both single phase and for three phase applications in single phase this lamp method two types one is the dark lamp method and other one is the bright lamp method these are the two methods in single phase and in three phase again we have a two types of synchronization methods one is the three lamps simultaneously dark method simultaneously and next one two lamp bright and one lamp dark method two lamp bright and one lamp dark method these are the synchronization methods for our synchronous machine parallel operation here first of all see the synchronoscope method how we can get the synchronoscope method let's see for example see here this is the bus bar and uh, i want to connect uh, a synchronous machine in parallel with bus bar this may be alternator or motor anything synchronous machine for that we have to choose a synchronoscope this is the dial of synchronoscope synchronoscope dial is like this we have to connect to the synchronoscope terminals to the bus bar and our machine when this is connected like this when the two frequencies are same then the dial is at zero position at standstill position if the frequency of this incoming this is called incoming alternator this is called existing bus bar if the frequency of incoming machine is less than actual value then the dial rotates in left the dial rotates in left nothing but frequency is less if the frequency of incoming machine is more then the dial right nothing but high frequency here frequency is more like that we can make it are you getting or not here what is that if the frequency of incoming is more the dial goes like this if frequency is less dial goes like this based on that we have to make it in parallel when the dial is at steady state condition then by closing the switch we can make it in parallel this is simply about the synchronoscope method very simple method right then after in lamp method we have two one for three phase and one for single phase in single phase also we have a two one is the dark method dark lamp method other one is the bright lamp method dark lamp method and bright lamp method let's see here single phase synchronous machine see here for example these are the bus bar terminals and these are the synchronous machine terminals 
here one lamp we have to connect lamp for dark lamp method how we can connect the lamp for dark lamp method the lamp should be connect like this let's see this is the lamp 1 and this is the lamp 2 when the incoming machine frequency matched with the existing frequency then these two lamps gives us dark lamp when these two lamps are very dark at that condition we have to close the switch simultaneously dark method actually when generally it is dark bright dark bright like that when the two frequencies are matched then the simultaneously the two lamps gives us a dark lamp when the lamp is very dark then by closing the switch we can make it in parallel so this is the dark lamp method but generally the dark darkest the judgment is very difficult we have to close the switch at pure dark condition the judgment is very different very difficult that's why nowadays we are preferring bright lamp method than the dark lamp method so how we can make it in synchronization for a dark bright lamp method the same criteria see here this is the bus bar terminals for example and these are our machine terminals synchronous machine and take the two lamps here here one lamp is connected like this and another lamp is connected like this out of face here also dark bright dark bright when two frequencies are exactly same then the two lamps simultaneously gives us a bright lamp bright light when the lamps, lamps gives a bright light then close the switch for synchronization nothing but here the synchronous machines are two synchronization methods are two types one is the synchronous scope either one is the lamp method the two lamps decides what is the voltage matching or frequency matching or speed matching or free phase sequence matching can you tell me yeah exactly these two decides uh, for frequency only this decides the is the frequency matching or not so the synchronization methods are used to find the frequency matching they will ask you a question which is uh, nowadays we are using which method is using a uh, synchronous scope method or lamp method for that the answer is generally bright lamp method is well better than dark lamp method because for easy judgment easy judgment and nowadays we are using bright lamp method with the combination of synchronous scope method bright lamp method plus synchronous scope method combinedly we are using are you okay getting or not so this is the the synchronization method for single phase let's go for synchronization method for three phase synchronization method for three phase let's see here how we can make in synchronization of alternator or motor with bus bar let's uh, three phase synchronization method here we have a two types one is the simultaneously simultaneously three lamps dark three lamps dark method how let's see for example this is the bus bar this bus bar terminals are like this R Y B bus bar terminals R Y B and here we have to take the machine terminals 
like this for example these are my synchronous machine these are the three lamps dark method nothing but the three lamps should be connected in same this is the lamp one and this is the lamp two and this is the lamp three or r phase for one and y phase 2 and b phase 3 this is r dash y dash b dash here all are in phase nothing but how it is actually for example this is r y b and next one r dash and y dash and b dash here the bulbs are connected in same phase the bulbs are connected in same phase like this this all gives simultaneously dark when two frequencies are matched i here the phase sequence also important r r dash y y dash and b b dash we should maintain same phase sequence then only the lamp method will follow otherwise it is not possible to make it in parallel we must follow the phase sequence phase sequence should be same first thing and second thing, the frequency should be same. For that, we are using lamp method. Here, simultaneously dark. When the three lamps gives the simultaneously dark, at that condition, we have to close the switch. Then, the machine synchronized with the bus bar. The machine synchronized with the bus bar. This is generally the three lamps dark method. Right? Are you okay? And next and last one. What is next one? Yeah. Two lamp equally bright. Equally bright. Remember this point. And one lamp dark. This is the next and last method. Nothing but see here again this is the three phases of bus bar which is r y and b r phase y phase and b phase and here my synchronous machine and this synchronous machine having same r dash y dash and b dash the phase sequence should be same then after two lamps equally bright one lamp dark method so here one lamp is dark one lamp is dark and two lamps equally bright nothing but here one lamp is connected like this B and Y and another lamp is connected like this Y and B when frequency when the phase sequence is same then after if the frequency match for incoming machine with our incoming machine with our bus bar when frequency match then these two lamps gives us a bright lamp bright light these two lamps gives us bright light and this lamps gives us dark sir if the phase sequence is not same we have to make it same so if the frequency is not matched then what we have to do we have to change the speed we have to change the speed of our synchronous machine by by changing the speed or by changing the excitation these two frequencies should be matched when the frequency is matched then the two lamps gives us a bright and one lamp gives a dark then we have to close the switch then we have to close the switch are you okay so how the vector for example see here this is the for example this is the r and y 
and B and next one and next one this is R dash R dash and R dash and Y dash and B dash is it okay R Y B here first lamp is connected in between R and R dash which gives a dark and next lamp is connected in between B and see here B and Y dash this B is connected to Y dash and next lamp connected in Y and B dash like this these two gives us a bright lamp bright light this gives us a dark so like that we can make it in parallel this is the synchronization methods for previous system like this we can make it in parallel this is what parallel operation conditions advantages conditions and synchronization methods and synchronous scope method and the lamp method single phase three phase nowadays we are using the bright lamp method with the synchronous scope in between these two bright lamp method is more preferable because easy judgment is it okay clear so let's see parallel operation of two alternators let's see here for example this is my first alternator with uh, R X and E this is E1 XS1 RA1 right here the current is I1 here the impedance is actually ZS1 and next second alternator this is my second alternator this is E2 and XS2 and RA2 and here the current is I2 when this is connected to a load what is this this is the load of course load having the impedance is ZS and load voltage the load voltage is nothing but the terminal voltage VT and the current to the load is IL this is the two alternators operating in parallel when these two are operating in parallel carefully listen here if the two voltages are same then only it is possible otherwise it is not possible the terminal voltage of two alternators should be same for example if any disturbances occurs in the, this system suddenly excitation changes or load changes or frequency changes whatever then the terminal voltage of the any one machine changes then automatically it goes into unstable region that is nothing but shuffling region at that condition when the terminal voltage changes then automatically some circulating currents will flow here when disturbances occurs which will comes into action synchronizing components comes into action that is called synchronizing current comes into action can you tell me what is my circulating current or synchronizing current here? Yeah, the change in voltage by the sum of the impedance. Here the impedance ZS1, here the impedance ZS2. So what is the voltage? The voltage is difference of two EMFs and the impedance is sum of two EMFs ZS1 plus ZS2. If armature resistance neglected, XS1 plus XS2. This is the previous gate question. They asked already. Okay, like that silly questions they are asking in sometimes. So be careful, observe every point on the board. This is the synchronizing current or circulating current when the disturbances occurs here. Right, now tell me here, IL, the load current is equals to, IL is equals to I1 plus I2, exactly correct answer. For example, this is equation A, 
right? Can you tell me what is IL here? IL is nothing but V upon Z. V upon Z, yes or no? This is equation 1. For example, equation 1. And what is I1? To find the I1, first of all, write the loop equation of this, this loop equation. What is this loop equation? Can you tell me? E1 is equals to, E1 is equals to Vt plus I1z1. This is the loop equation. From that, I want I1. From this, I want I1. I1 is equals to E1 minus Vt upon Zs1. This is taken as equation 2. Okay. Next one. What is the next loop equation? Tell me. E2 is equals to V2 plus I2 Zs2. From this, what is I2? I2 is equals to again E2 minus Vt upon Zs2. This is taken as equation 3. Now, now substitute, substitute equations 1, 2 and 3 in equation A. Substitute equation 1, 2, 3 in equation A and find the terminal voltage Vt. Find the terminal voltage Vt. This is our question. I want the terminal voltage Vt. Hold the video, calculate and tell me what is Vt. Just I will stand here. You have to do. So hold the video and do calculations and tell me what is Vt from these equations. Okay. Uh, yes, you have to hold the video. Don't see the video now. Okay? Yeah. I will derive here. Is it okay? So, see. Is it okay? Right. Let's see. Let's see here. Come here. Come this side. Right? Okay. So, come here and tell me. What is IL? What is IL? IL is equals to Vt upon ZL. Are you coming or not here? Okay, right. So I1. What is I1? I1 is equals to E1 minus Vt upon ZS1. Okay, right. Next, plus I2. I2 is equals to E2 minus Vt upon Zs2. Is it okay? Right? So this is uh, values. So solve them. Solve them. Here minus Vt by Zs1 minus Vt by Zs2. What is that? Vt by Zl is equals to E1 upon Zs1 minus Vt upon Zs1 plus E2 upon Zs2 minus Vt upon Zs2. Is it okay? Next. So, bring these two terms on this side. Vt upon Zl plus Vt upon Zs1 plus Vt upon Zs2 is equals to E1 upon Zs1 plus E2 upon Zs2. Okay. Next, take the common of Vt. Take the common of Vt. Then what is the value? 1 by Zl plus 1 by Zs1 plus 1 by Zs2 is equals to E1 upon Zs1 plus E2 upon Zs2. So, by substituting all these values, by substituting all these values, IL here and I1 here and I2 here. So, Vt is equals to, tell me Vt is equals to 
upon upon Zs1 plus E2 upon Zs2 by 1 by Zl plus R 1 by Zs1 plus 1 by Zs2 plus 1 by Zl. This is what the terminal voltage. This is what the terminal voltage, the common terminal voltage of two alternators. Is it okay? Understood. This is a, they may ask you problem or directly options. In options, they will ask you question. When two alternators in parallel, and this is very important for our examination, they asked already one time. They may ask you again. Okay, here you have to take the phase voltages, be careful. Here you have to take the phase voltages, don't confuse. Right? Thank you.